the Pan Am Building, Manhattan. Bryant Park behind Central Library. Columbus Day, this year, six o'clock in the evening. A big open air party, 2,000 guests. They just have to mix, all quite normal. Except for one thing, the host wasn't there. Computers don't travel well. As well as laying on parties like this one, the computer can also lay on dates if you answer its questionnaire first. What do you think of it? Well, I filled mine out about two months ago and I received nine names, girls' names, and I called up two of them. They're very nice. But I'm in school now, so I haven't been able to follow up with the other seven. I think social scientists are very interested in science, but they forget about people sometimes. And uh, the fact that there have been, we estimate in this country, over, well, perhaps a half a million individuals applying to these various computer organizations, uh, we feel that this indicates a great social need, a need to streamline and to streamline our, our searches for people whom we can find compatible and with whom we can make friendships. That's Dr. Salvatore de Dato talking to some skeptics at the party. He's described as an authority on love, sex, dating, and marriage. He's the psychologist who approved the questionnaire. Do match people. They say that they match people on many, many uh, variables, but it winds up that they match them only on age sex, religion, and height, or something like that. Wait, which are the obvious ones, and yet what? How, what no. You had, what, somebody 20 years older? Uh, no, but almost. Uh, and this is, you know, it's fairly basic. She age. specified, uh, yeah. you know, an age limit, and she gets some guy 20 years oh, older than she is. That's not with our, with our project tech, is it? No, no but this, is, this has been the problem, and I just wonder how, you know, what you, what you do to avoid the same problem other than you just get a larger group. Well, we get a larger sample, and we also refine our responses to the point where we can make more accurate judgments about what goes into making a happy couple, a good pair, you know, a, um, a contented match. TACT uh, stands for Technical Automated Compatibility Testing, and it's a computerized dating service for young people throughout the uh, large cities in America. TACT can possibly process over a million people. Uh, up to this time, we've processed over 20,000 people in cities in America. We've been in New York. We've started in New York. That's Bob Ross, one of the two sharp New Yorkers who started this firm. There are others like it. They mostly hire computer time. It doesn't take long to sort you out. TACT is not a Lonely Hearts Club. It's not a marriage brokerage service. It's a new, fun way of meeting new people. It charges five dollars, which is a little under two pounds, to supply from four to twenty to thirty dates over a four-month period. These are computerized, compatible dates. We work on three levels. We work on what we call socio-cultural factors, which are interests, common uh, background, education. We work on opinions and values which is a second level of compatibility. We try to match people who share the same kinds of opinions and values. And a third level, which is psycho psychological level of compatibility, which we try to match people who have needs, complementary needs for each other, or who are similar in psychological ways. If you're tempted, the present questionnaire may not seem very sophisticated. Du Bois say I'm unusually attractive, very attractive, attractive, Average, not particularly attractive. My hairstyle, my eyes, my date size. Dislikes. Affected people, birth control, foreigners, free love, homosexuals, interracial marriage, pseudo intellectuals, rock and roll, socialism. Select four only. I worry over my relationships with people. Yes. I worry over possible misfortunes. No. My sexual attitudes, very liberal, 
Very conservative. Very liberal. I enjoy close physical contact on a first or second date if my date is very appealing to me. Yes. I enjoy people who express affection freely. Yes. Most of the time I act as an independent. No. In most situations I am a sociable person. Yes. I seek close friendships with most people I know. No. I enjoy going to parties. Yes. Sad, but it seems that even computers have trouble as hosts. A public relations man present couldn't get this party going till after duck. The idea was to have a fun time and give your name and the name of the person present with whom you thought you were most compatible to the computer. It decides who in fact was the most compatible couple present and the winners get a big night out on the town. is open to what we'd say all fun-loving people between 18 and 45, single people. Well, people go into TACT for a number of reasons. Some, some of the people go into it just to meet new people, just to get a lot of dates. People who come, in, come into a big city find it difficult to meet people. They don't know that many people. And they'd like to go out on dates, and they fill out TACT for that reason. Some people want to get more serious. They are really interested, say, in forming a more lasting relationship. And then there are people who just want to get married. We've had some funny kinds of things happening with, with our matching system. We've matched uh, an older brother with his younger sister. Uh, and that didn't work out too well. And we've matched, it was funny, we matched a boy who had broken up with his girlfriend. They had been engaged, but they broke up. And they were rematched by the computer. It seems they both had filled out tact. And, and when they were matched, they decided that they were probably meant for each other. And they got back together, and now they're getting married. Well, uh, on the negative side, we've had a number of people who uh, weren't too satisfied after they've gone out. In fact, someone wants to propose a new ground for divorce, and that would be on the grounds of incomputerability. <laughs> Most of the people intact want to make contacts, and they want to be intact. <laughs>